This is the coffee you have every morning. You can't exist without it. It might be made by your loving partner, your own uncaffeinated hands, or Lorenzo, the hipster barista who does the good latte art. But because coffee production is close to hitting a crisis point where the impacts of climate change become irreversible, you may have one person to thank for every cup of coffee you drink, huh? starting around 2030. Nope, definitely not those folks. Her name is Bambi. My name is Bambi Simrock, and I work to make coffee sustainable. We drink 600 billion cups of coffee every year, but coffee producers are facing a massive threat, climate change. Coffee plants are already a difficult plant to grow. They need very specific conditions, and rising temperatures, droughts, frosts, and changing weather patterns could severely impact supply. Meanwhile, traditionally tea-heavy markets from around the globe are drinking more, that's right, you guessed it, coffee. So while supply goes down, demand goes up, meaning that in a few short years, coffee is in danger of becoming a luxury item that only a few can afford. And that may put Lorenzo out of a job. Wait, what? And it's not just Lorenzo's job and your coffee at stake. If we don't get this right, it could mean the loss of millions of jobs and it would impact the global economy. That's where Bambi comes in. I lead the Sustainable Coffee Challenge, a global effort to make coffee the world's first sustainable agricultural product. That's amazing, Bambi. Uh, what does it mean? If we want to make sure that coffee is still available in the future, we need to make sure that we're protecting the forests and the fresh water that really sustain the coffee production, while really improving the livelihoods of the 25 million coffee producers in over 70 countries throughout the world that grow the coffee that we drink every day. That is incredible plan. It sure is, Lorenzo. So, who all is involved? I, I don't know. I was asking Bambi. That make more sense. It's a team effort. It takes the goodwill of consumers, of governments, of companies, of non-government organizations, all working together. 75 partners from across the coffee industry have joined us, including some big brands like Starbucks and McDonald's. We're creating a model that we can replicate with every crop on Earth. Since climate change is threatening our global food supply, we need to get coffee right. Save the coffee, save the world. Something like that. Do you think it'll work? There's a lot at stake. It has to work. Bambi, to thank you for all your hard work, I'm making you this. I actually don't drink coffee. What? Well, Lorenzo, there is still something you can do for Bambi. Is there a hashtag? No, no hashtag. But you can be a part of the movement simply by asking your coffee shop, your barista, your grocery store, is this coffee sustainable? Do you know where it comes from? This may seem small, but being part of the conversation helps to propel the movement. You can also go to sustaincoffee.org. Click the link below.